Hello Gecko fans, this is Wally Kern with Supreme Gecko, and today I'm starting a series on a gecko that you want to see. You've asked me to do these videos, and it's actually one of my top five geckos. This is going to be a fun series. It's all about Periodora picta. It's kind of funny, but I've tried to start this video probably about five times, and I've run out of time every single time. It's just so much information on Periodora picta. I think one video I did was over an hour long, but I'm going to condense this as much as I possibly can, and I've broken it down into six different videos for a series on Periodora picta. Like I said, Periodora picta is definitely in my top five geckos that I've kept of all time, and that's in 20 years of keeping geckos. I could go on and on and on about the merits of keeping this gecko, and I've, again, broken it into six different videos in this series. This first video is going to be on the history and the background of the whole Periodora genus, and especially the Periodora picta. This is going to be fun, so stick with this video because there's going to be a lot of important information that will build on the next series of videos. The second video is going to be all about their care and how to set up an enclosure for Periodora picta. The third video is going to be all about the breeding of Periodora picta, and the fourth video is going to be all about caring for their babies. Number five is going to be daily maintenance, what you have to do to make sure that your Periodora picta are as healthy as they possibly can be. And finally, video number six is going to be all about the patterns and the morphs of Periodora picta. This is going to be fascinating and there's going to be tons and tons and tons of information here. Before we get into talking about the history and the background of Periodora and especially Periodora picta, let me tell you why I keep Periodora picta and why I consider them one of the top geckos to keep. They're just fantastic little animals. I have a picture of the Periodora picta behind me, but I did bring along one so that we could see. I've got the Periodora picta cam going. We'll see if we can get some closer looks at these animals later on. And the reason I keep these animals is because they're just so absolutely adorable. They're big eyes. They are nocturnal, so they have these huge eyes so that they can see more at night. They're certainly handleable, as you can see. This one's just really comfortable sitting on the palm of my hand, getting the warmth from my hand. Even from a young age, these guys do really, really well with handling, but the more you handle them, the better they do. These animals have basic requirements. Their enclosures are easy to set up, and they're really, once you get a male and a female together, they're fairly easy to breed, and the babies are easy to take care of. As you can see, their size is just perfect. Look at that. It's smaller than a leopard gecko and a crested gecko, and it's not the micro gecko size, so it's easy to handle. It's just the perfect size animal for both young and old to handle. While the country of their origin and the country that they're endemic to, Madagascar, is closing down exportation, which is a good thing of some of these species, it's becoming easier and easier to obtain Periodora pictus because more and more hobbyists and breeders are working with them and putting these out to the public. I think more and more people are appreciating the just pure beauty of these animals and how simple they are to keep. Another reason a lot of hobbyists are keeping these animals is because they're just absolutely bulletproof. There's very, very few issues that you're going to have with Periodora picta. Now, as a hobbyist, I absolutely love keeping these animals as pets, but as a breeder, my appreciation of these animals is from the many, many different patterns and morphs that they provide. From stripes to reticulated, to three stripes, to an albino version, to so many different variations of this animal. It's just almost unlimited. Now, we'll be talking about each one of these topics in a later video, but if you have a question, a specific question, let me know down in the comments below what your question is. Have you kept Periodora picta in the past? Let me know in a comment down below. Hey, if you want to find out more about Periodora picta and anything else about geckos or isopods, make sure that you subscribe down below. Hit that notification all so you don't miss another one of these types of videos. Let's go ahead and talk about Periodora and Periodora picta and their background in history. Now we're going to talk about taxonomy, which is the science of classifying animals. 
don't go to sleep yet. This is going to be very interesting. The genus Periodora has 22 different species. I just love the whole genus as it is because of the different types of animals, their colors, their patterns, their behaviors. It's just phenomenal. I've kept nine of the species of Periodora of the 22. Let's see if I can go ahead and name off these nine different species that I've kept. There's Periodora androyensis, Bastard Eye, Vazimba, Lahoensis, Stumphi, Oviceps, Ibidiensis, Gracilis, and what's that ninth one? Let me see. Oh, Periodora picta. As I mentioned before, Periodora are endemic, meaning that they only come from Madagascar. And Madagascar has so many different biotypes, it's hard to say that they're all like this. This is the temperature, this is the humidity that you can keep all these Periodora at because it's so diverse. Madagascar has many different biotypes and zones with different humidities, different rainfalls, different temperatures. It's really important that you dig into these different species if you're considering keeping one of them and really do the research on each and every one of the species to find out what their exact needs are. The genus Periodora is an old, old genus with some of the described geckos dating back into the mid-1800s. But also there's some newer species described dating all the way to 2018. If I could do a generalization of Periodora, I would say that basically they're a nocturnal gecko. They're mostly terrestrial. They're an insectivore. They need a heat source and they're all fairly small, manageable geckos. And Periodora picta fits that mold perfectly. Now specifically, Periodora picta goes by a lot of different names. Madagascar ground gecko, oscillated gecko, fathead gecko, and panther gecko. And for those taxonomy nerds out there, Periodora picta was described in 1854 by Wilhelm Peters. Like I said earlier, I could go on and on about Periodora picta, and I will, but that will be another video in this series. If you want to catch that next video on care and how to set up their enclosure, make sure you click on the link right up here, and you're going to see a ton of information. If the next video in the series isn't available yet, the link will take you to another Periodora picta video that you'll, I'm sure, enjoy. Thanks for watching. Catch the next video.